Hey there, everyone. I'm Samuel Johnson, and I am currently in my pajamas. Yeah, I am recording this video very early in the morning, around five something. So I'm not really at. So I'm not really up per se. Like I haven't really. I haven't washed up. My hair is a mess, and I haven't even gotten dressed yet. And it's still so dark out that I'm using my phone as a light. So pretty much. So. Yeah, I'm so yeah, I'm recording this as a prologue at my house this early because I'm going to be doing today's vlog with a guest. If you and, and knowing my gather no amount of videos, you'll know who that guest is, but in case you're new here, that's the mystery. But anyway, if if you're new, if you if you don't know who I am, I'm I completely understand. I'm a relatively unknown, but if you are if you are here before, thanks welcome welcome back. And for all new newcomers, I'm glad you're here and your suffering will not end in when the video it stops. I had a whole thing planned out anyway. Well, anyway. So you're probably wondering what I'm doing. Well, again, for any newcomers, for the last two years, I did a retrospective vlog series on the first two Ben 10 series, so the classic Ben 10 series and Ben 10 Alien Force. The reason I started doing these vlog, those vlogs was because I wanted to rewatch, sorry, here. I wanted to rewatch the first two shows of Ben 10 and see how they held up now that I was older because I watched both shows religiously when I was a kid and I want now that I was an adult. I wanted to see how I, how much the show both shows held up and what and what fell flat. As such, it was a rather unique experience, and I actually didn't have some fun doing it because it allowed me to rediscover what I loved about those shows in the first place. Like the original Ben Ten series, I found was a little silly. And uh, was a little silly and goofy, but it made up for it with fun action, clever writing, good characters, good a stellar animation, and just create and creative ideas. Like, despite how silly and dumb it could be, it embraced that and just kind of went with it. It was fun. It was creative. It was, it was obvious. That it was just pretty much. It was a, gr a show that embraced all the stupid, fun, surreal natures of superheroes. And they, all. Just all the stupid, surreal stuff, comic books, and loved it. And it did it so well. It was just a fun show, and I just thought, and I was, and it was really nice rewatching it. Likewise, its sequel series, Ben 10 Alien Force, kind of put, th put things in a different direction. Ben 10 Alien Force was more serious, down to earth, more, more, compl more complex, more mature, and more concerned with trying to show more human trying to show a more have tell a more realistic tale than kind of be more fun and again more of a true one a bit of a true and i'm not saying that they just abandon fun all the banded being fun altogether but one they pretty but they were trying but they were trying to have it be more realistic so t more kind of realistic as realistic as you could be with about with about with a kid about a story about a kid with a watch of tournament aliens but per, they still and a downside of the, and I'm not again. They don't. I'm not saying they got rid of the pre, that pretense altogether because they really did. Because there were episodes that show they still were trying to have fun with what they were doing. But a downside of this is that they kind of lost a bit of the a bit of the charm that the classic series had, and unfortunately, and ultimate, and it was more concerned with trying to be more complex and deep with than trying to have than trying to have be goofy and weird, and. Another thing, and despite that, Ben 10 Alien Force did have some retcons to the original show, had actually introduced some retcons to the original show that I'm a little, that kind of got on my nerves. But with all that being said, I still enjoyed Ben 10 Alien Force for what it did right. It was still very, it still was creative. The characters were still written wonderfully, and they were still the same characters that I knew, even the, though they had all grown and were more mature. They still had, and again, one of the, and... While it would, and it was, again, it could still be creative with some of the villain. It could still be creative with both the villains and the aliens that he that Ben had, and so and again, and again with the more serious tone, they were able to tell more complex stories, show more, 
shows more sides to everything, keep him all relative. It actually allowed for some clever, it actually allowed for some very deep and profound and profound stories just with the, with this tone in mind. Well, at least for the first two, se at least for the first two seasons, season three was kind of where they jumped the shark and tried to make it like the classic series, but it was obviously not in the hands of someone. It was obviously not, but obviously the creators at that point really didn't fully understand what made the classic series fun for people. And at least in my opinion, I think they still need to get a grasp of that. But that's another thing, and that's another show, and I think I've done. I think I've talked enough about this. You're here for something else if you've read the if you've seen the title for the video. So allow me to get into what you're really here for. Like I said, for the last two years I've been doing those shows, but I decided that I decided very early on that I was only going to do those two, at least for that, at least for now, or at least back then. I want so if that's the case. Why am I still doing vlogs? Well, that's because there were other shows from my childhood that I still remember fondly and I kind of want to look back on. Some shows that I kind of want to rewatch and see how they held up because I do still have fond memories of other shows and some sh and memories of sh other shows that aren't so fond. And I kind of want to see how they held up now. And since I kind of did, since I wrapped up, since I'm done, since I'm currently done with one superhero show on from one network, I decided I would move on to a superhero show of another network, and if you can't guess what that show is by the title, it is in fact Danny Phantom. Yep. When I was a kid, I I did watch the show. I watched I like I watched it very much. I didn't watch it as much as Ben Ten, but when it was on, I had a good time watching it. If you don't know what the premise for Danny Phantom is, uh, well, if you're well, odds are if you're watching this, you probably do, but not a small chance that you don't. Danny Phantom was a show about a 14-year-old kid named Danny Fenton who one day got powers got powers that made him similar that po got ghost powers. He got the ability to walk through walls, turn invisible, fly fly. I'm honestly, yeah, I'm taking the and I'm taking those powers straight up from the theme song. And rather and Upon gaining these powers, he's, he decided that he would use them to fight, that he would use them to fight crime and ghosts, and he became the superhero called Danny Phantom. The, and yes, I'm aware that that sounds very similar to his real name, so I'm surprised no one was able to put the connection together, especially since his ghost state, which is his regular superhero form, doesn't look any different from his original, doesn't look any different from his human state, except that his hair is white instead of black, and his eyes are green instead of blue. But that's just kind of nitpicking. I might get into it later, but I loved this show as a kid. I very much enjoyed it. I remember seeing ads when it was being built up for, when it was being built up for, and I was actually a little curious and excited. It was a superhero show, and I loved superheroes, still do. And it was it was created it was a show created by Butch Hartman, the creator of Fairly Odd Parents, and I loved Fairly Odd Parents. It was funny. It was creative. It was silly. It was stupid. It was silly, it was stupid, but it was clever, and it was well written. It had very, it had great, it had nice characters, not, it had jokes that had well timed jokes, knew exactly what to say, exactly what to do, and I thought it was, and even to this day, I still remember what I still loved that show very much, and I still, and I still recommend it at least, yeah, I still recommend a majority of it. It's still very good. It was still very good, but Danny Phantom was. I kept seeing ads of Danny Phantom. I thought, oh, it's another show like that. I want to see it. I want to see it. So then. Yeah, I remember watching it very fondly, and I remember, but unlike Ben 10, it's a show I didn't get to see all of, I didn't see all of this show, and it's not because I lost interest or anything, I, I was still very much interested in, in it, it's just that, as, it's just that, well, kind of scheduling, there are times that I wound up missing it, and at that point, and I think at that point, I was kind, I was kind of starting to suck at school because I was not a very good student. I, when I was younger, I kind of just flat out ignored my homework even when it was due and it caught up and all that caught up with me. It was not fun. And I lost my TV privileges at many points. So I got lost at least during season two or at other points, I just kept missing new episodes when it came on. And I was still able to tune in every now and then to see show episodes of the show. But it was, I was able to watch at least the majority of season one, 
some of season two and not a lot of season three when I was a kid. I didn't even I haven't even seen the finale for the show yet. I'm not even kidding. I've re I've read about it. I've heard people's reactions to it, but it's not. I haven't really seen. I have not seen it. As such, the re the reason I have picked Danny Phantom for this one is not just to look back on a show that I remember fondly as a kid, but to also kind of get, but to also kind of see the show episodes that I missed. Just, it's kind of a, in other words, I'm kind of going in semi-blind. I know a majority of the show, but there are still some, hip, but there are still a large, there's still at least, a, a, but there's still quite a few episodes that I haven't seen yet. So as such, not only is this kind of a, a retrospective and a look back, this is also kind of my, my for it will for some episodes it'll be my first impressions and it's not going to be that way. And again, it's not going to be like that in the beginning because I've seen a lot like a majority of season one, if not all of it. So in the beginning, it won't be the case. But there are episodes that I will be like, okay, so this is a new so this is new territory for me. So I will be getting into it there. That will be so when those episodes come up, I'll let you know. But as a as, but that's pretty much all the information. I think that's really much all I can say. I'm as so like with Ben Ten and Ben Ten Liam's force before it. Every Friday for the next year, I'm gonna be I'm gonna, I'm gonna be watching one single episode of Danny Phantom and then recording my thoughts on it. And unlike Ben Ten and Ben Ten Alien Force, I won't be going by the DVD order this time. I'm gonna be going by the premiere order slash the Wikipedia order. Because, from what I've gathered, the DVDs are very much out of line. And there are some plot details that are revealed in some episodes that are brought up later in other episodes. And because of how bad, and because of how th bad, of how out of order they are on the DVDs, at least in Season 2, it's it leads to some hiccups in continuity. As such, I'm again, I'm going to be relying on the, D on the Wikipedia. I'm going to be relying on the Wikipedia episode order for this one, so... Yeah, but anyway, again, if you're so yeah, if you're a returning viewer, again, I thank you for watching. And if you're new here, then I then I implore you to come join us on this journey with the Phantom Perspectives. Why the Phantom Perspectives? Because I love alliteration. So yeah, thanks for watching, and tune in tonight where I will most where I will be uploading the first episode, first official episode of the phantom perspectives as me and my friend and me and Haley talk about the very first episode of danny phantom so yeah i'll see you then take care